Hey guys, welcome back to Fable 3. Last time we got shipwrecked on our way to some place called Aurora. So we're here with Walter and the other guys lost. Before we go any further, I'd just like to say one thing. Balls! <laughs> you say balls? Sounds like the dogs found something. Well, you never know, it might be a luxury inn. He found bats. Good work, boy. Bats are exactly what we needed right now. What do you think happened to Ben? He's a strong swimmer. Probably reached a sandy beach somewhere. Palm trees. Beautiful women. Coconut cocktails. Jammy bastard. <laughs> I mean, it does sound nice. What the? Hopping hobs is that? It must be protecting something. Like the way out, most likely. The way is shut. It is made by those who are dead, and the dead keep it. The way is shut. This is this is something. I just want to manage my property. Tell you one thing. We haven't got this far, haven't got this many people behind us to end up dying in some forsaken, far-off hole in the ground. At least we're still raking in a little bit of money. Well, wherever we are, we're not the only ones who got stuck in this damn place. Not the most encouraging side in the world, is it? Still, they might have something useful on them. Why don't you check the second lot over there? Okay. Search the bodies. I found something. A note. It speaks to us still. Darkness incarnate. We know now we can never escape it. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hey, I've got something too. One of these poor sods left a journal. Most of the pages have disintegrated, but well, we, we can still see plenty of weird symbols. It's mostly gobbledygook anyway. I mean, listen to this nonsense. Luminous spirits of the sands. Impart daybreak and gleam under a quiet moon. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Look at that. Can you believe I did that? <laughs> Good job, Walter. Ooh. It does look somewhat dark. Oh, maybe going down isn't such a good idea. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you lead the way if you're so tough? Oh. All right. Here we go, then. Everything's trouble with you, Walter. God, man. <laughs> no, that's Big Lebowski. Dude, I'm sorry. Chickens kicked zero. Yeah, see? You know how I said it looked somewhat dark? Well, I'd, I'd like, like to, to amend, amend that statement. statement. We're looking into utter, total, complete darkness. Oh, what have you got there, boy? Ha! Ah. You little genius. Good boy. Oh, no, that's better. Is the dog whimpering? What do you think this place is? I have no idea. A temple of some sort? What could anyone possibly worship in here? Hmm. No, we're not going any further this way.
Looks like a bridge. Is that the mechanism to raise it on the other side? Isn't that handy? One of us will have to get across to use it. There must be some other way to get there. Mm, is there something over here? Yeah. Good thing the backlight on my TV is good, man. It's not really that dark. Here we go. You should be able to make it to the other side from here. Okay, be careful now. That thing's probably pretty stiff, and we don't want to make any more noise than we have to. Whoops, I think I just made a lot of noise. Stealthy mice, the adventures forged on ahead. I know I have a tendency to be slightly paranoid, but did that sound like something friendly to you? Sound like bats or a lizard? Return to Walter. I don't know. Stand back. Walter the Scholar will deal with this. Mm, with an increasing sense of trepidation at visiting. Luminous spirits of the sands. Inhale the restless gloaming. Whoa! There you go. What can I say? I have a knack for gibberish. I have a knack for gibberish. Um, do you ever get the feeling somebody's playing games with us? All the time. Let's just be thankful and get through this place as quickly as we can. The light you bring will die. The light inside you will die. All that you are will die. Show yourself. This isn't good. <laughs> the children are here to play. What the heck? What is this new devilry? This just got weird. More of those things. Come on, Walter. Just hold it together. Walter is a uh... Kind of dated name, isn't it? My grandfather was a Walter, and then the only other Walter I ever knew was a guy that was kind of a loser in school. Damn this 
I mean, he was an all right guy. The bastards. Why didn't they tell us what was down here? Darkness incarnate. Like we're supposed to know what that means. It won't stop. It won't stop till it kills us. Uh, I guess there's no treasure. I, 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 that looked suspicious to me. Must be close to an exit. There's a cold breeze. Can you feel it? There's that sound again. It's almost like. No! Not the light, not the bloody light! He likes to say balls. No, 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 we have to get out of here. You hear me, you hear me, we have to get out of here. As long as we have fire, we'll be all right. We'll have to keep walking, and, and we'll get out of here, and... We are coming. It's here! We will devour your kingdom. There will be no bodies. There will be only darkness. At least these guys go down, unlike some of those other enemies we were fighting. caves but this it's as if someone took my worst nightmare and made it real but it's gone now it's gone and we're going to be fine that thing was weird looking like some kind of wraith looks like the only way is down Wait. Just wait. I'll need a moment to prepare myself for this. But don't let me stop you. I'll be right behind you. You all right down there? Yes! It isn't far down! Right. Here I come then. Three, two, one... <laughs> Oh, man. 
die. You let us take him, but you're glad, are you not? You wished him pain. You wished him I didn't want Walter to die. Maybe he's not dead. Hold on to hope. What the fuck? A great wave of darkness will cover your land. They will come for your king. Who will sit upon the throne without me? Feel the embrace of the children. If they bring you eternal understand what the guy's saying. I think there are subtitles, but I don't know how to turn them on. And we're this far into it, it's kind of a bit late. So many voices talking at once. What happens to this piece of flesh when darkness touches its soul? These things are like Chozo statues. The children are angry, I heard that. Fragile. You and your kind 
children. They bring me eternal contentment. What happens to this piece of flesh when darkness touches its soul? Am I doing something wrong? They just you keep coming back. You and your kind dissolve so easily. You brought hurt. The children are angry. Accept death. It is so much easier than what is to come. It's gold ore from the Power Rangers. Or, what's his name? Goldar? Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming this is hurting him, but I have no idea. Nothing. This land is ours. Darkness shall spread across the world. Oh, see. That thing. It blinded me. I can't see. It's okay, Walter. I'm here. We have to get out. Quickly! It's still out there! We need to leave! Man, being unable to see would be really scary. You can hear it too, can't you? It is there! I'm not mad! I can't see anything! Take me to the light, please! It's still out there! We need to leave! <laughs> long way from playing Monopoly. Are we out? Did we get away? Yes. We're safe now. What can you see? A desert. But whatever that thing did to me, it's like it, it sucked all the light from inside me. I still can't see anything. Just don't let go. Careful. 
There's steps up ahead. All right. Okay. Is the light going to cure his blindness somehow? His eyes are all bugged out. I'm not sure. I don't know how far I can go. Are there no signs of civilization? There's something in the distance. It looks like an enormous statue. How far? It's going to take us a few hours. No, stop, stop, stop. I can't do this. Of course you can. Come on. I'm... I'm too weak. You have to leave me. Listen to me. I can't see. I can barely stand. I, I, I won't just slow you down. I'll get you killed. You have to go on without me. Never! You can't save me. I'm dead weight now. Stop talking like that. We're going to make it through this. <laughs> Will you listen to me? You have to leave me behind. That thing left you weak too. Don't you think I can tell? What you have to do is too important to risk for an old rat like me. Listen, you have to go on without me. I'm not leaving you behind, Walter. I can't do this without you. I won't leave you here. You have to. I can't. I... I can't. Walter. It's all right. It's all going to be all right. I'll come back for you. I promise. I'll get help. You'll do me proud. I know you'll do me proud. Walter. Well, crap, man. We lost Walter. Where the heck are we? You think dying is just like falling asleep? Like that total exhaustion feeling when you just, you just collapse and you just can't stay awake any longer you think that's what dying feels like assuming you don't die like by falling off a building or something where are you i can't see i what? need help please i'm blind i can't see help me <laughs> You abandoned your friend to die. He's calling for you, while the children spread out his heart to the sky. Is that... Is that you? What's happened? This world is ours. We will smother every light, every last breath, from every last mouth. Don't leave us here forever and ever and ever! You try to run away, but you are made of sand. You are falling apart between our fingers. I have to find out just how ready you are. Fight! What? What is going on? I you to hold back. This game has gone down some trippy hole I was not expecting. 
You're stronger than you think you are. You just have to believe. I don't want to hit him. Are we going to fight or aren't we? Ah, crap, I didn't mean he to do that. done anything for you. Now he screams alone. He curses you. Not even in death will he forgive you. Your strength is ebbing. We can feel it. My brigade had been pinned down by the enemy. Until there was just me and two other men left. We retreated into a cave. But they never came after us. They just blew the entrance. Sealed us in. We spent three days in that cave. No light. No food. Just three men waiting to die in the dark. The light in your eyes offends us! Let it go out! Where the heck did the line go? I can't move! Are you blind? Are you blind yet? <laughs> There's nothing left! You're gone! All gone! He's still alive. The other can't be far away. Taking a nap in the sun. Typical royalty. You had me worried there for a while. Walter! Don't worry. We'll find him. You just sit tight, my friend. That was the other guy that wasn't there on the shipwreck. I forgot his name already. Ben? I just want to go back and play Monopoly, man. My mustache is tickling my nose. Can you help me? The young one will be fine. He is strong. We need to tend to the older one at once. Hang in there, Walter. I would hate to be in a desert, man. Like, every desert depiction just seems terrible. fortunate to be alive, but we have seen his condition before. We may be able to help him. Is there another of my friends here? I thought I saw in the desert. A devilishly handsome soldier by the name of Ben Finn? Not dead yet, my friend. Please, come with me. Don't worry, he's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. It's so good to see you. When I was fished out of the local port and Walter and you weren't there, I thought it was all over. Then I realized I was being an ass, and I worked my charms to get a search party out for you. Not that Kaylin here needed much persuading. We are accustomed to misfortune. Now it is time you saw our city. Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. The crawler did this. 
The being you fought in the desert caves. It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. The few of us who still live have known nothing but fear since. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side, Ben Finn speaks most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please, walk down to our streets. See for yourself. Then we may talk more. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on Walter. All right, this is grim. Read. I will try to honor you always, Father. I will do as you taught me. I will carry myself the strength you gave me, and I will try to lead our people as you left them. I wish to leave a record of my survival in testament to those who did not. Last night, the crawler descended upon a roar again. We believed ourselves. I hear its voice still calling. Yeah, subtitles would have been the a good thing for and this. The darkness it brings took my parents, my two brothers, and their wives. Yet it never takes me. It delights in taunting me with their memory. It calls me a coward, but no more. I have decided to go into the desert at next dawn. I will slay the crawler or be at one with my family again. The crawler. You are the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues, doorways. Wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. My wife and my daughter. You were taken from me by that which dwells in darkness. And darkness is all that is left in my life. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over our city since then. Reina and Bale. You are in my thoughts always. I will be with you again soon. You are in a better place now, my love. For no place can be as troubled as our city has become. I know you are watching over me. I feel your presence by our bed when I sleep. And I hear your voice in my dreams. Stay with me. Always. A boat! Let's get the heck out of here! This place sucks! Alright, I'll follow the glimmering path. It said something on the top of the screen to go back to Kaelin. There's nothing here but notes that talk to you. So, I just... The crawler is a bad thing that's this town is plagued by darkness or something. That's that's what I got. Now you know what we have suffered. But as I said before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan. The King of Albion. Seems your big brother's been keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the Crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived thanks to our care. He left with a promise. 
that he would return with an army and save us from the crawler. We never saw him again. King Logan did not cause this, but he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask that you do what he would not. Ben Finn has told us of your quest, of your revolution. There are not many warriors left among us, but we have ships, and we are willing to fight beside you. Not because your brother wronged us, nor because we thirst for revenge, but because we want protection. We require aid if we are to survive. That is the promise you must make. Help us to rebuild Aurora, and allow it to become a true part of your kingdom. Not a colony, not a thing to be used, but a place with a voice in your court. Will you make this promise? I promise. Then let us go to war. Well, that was not as good as other parts of the game, but interesting. You have survived a terrible ordeal, but you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies and take Bowerstone Castle. Already? But there's so much I didn't do. I'm two guild things short of being able to increase my melee weapon. That's a bunch of crap. What is this? Blade spell. Seek out and impale enemies. I could afford that, but... It's not as good as... That thing looks like a guitar, uh... What's it called? Not neck. How is he? Is he gonna make it? I do not know. The darkness is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean, you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry. He's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. Headstock. That's what it's called. <coughs> Walter? Oh, balls to you all. <laughs> you're not burying me just yet. See? I told ya! Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry I left you all. You did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. Well, we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I feel about a hundred years older than when we left. But we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I had for you. You're the king Albion needs. So come on. It's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. Well, that's got to be for next time, man. You know, we can't... What? I can't go back to... Oh, maybe I'll take a little nap first. Can I really not? Oh, no, now I can. As you can see, your promise to Paige is now on the wall. The promise you made to Kaelin is now on the wall with the others. Alright, let's save. And next time, we will board the boat and go back Have to the town. And it seems like recently. we have to storm the castle, which is items. crazy. 